Hey everyone, Uriel came back with you with another episode of Ask Yuri. Today we're talking about how to take a 16 year old teenager from you know where he's at to where he wants to be, building some muscle, competing in MMA and kickboxing, and as he says, kick some ass. So let's get to it. So here's here's what he's doing right now. His routine um, does a lot of the stuff at home. Uh, so basically has a 25 pound dumbbell. And he's doing 60 curls, four sets of 15 reps. He does 100 sit-ups, 60 push-ups, all in one workout session. So basically biceps, push-ups, sit-ups. That's pretty much it. Then on his off days, he's jogging one to two miles on the treadmill. And uh, he wants to get rid of the tire around his waist. So here's what he wants to do. So he wants to get, he wants to get in shape for this MMI, MMA and, uh, and kickboxing uh, class and competition that he's going to be taking part in and wondering if he should be doing anything else with his workouts and incorporating more protein shakes and stuff like that to help him build muscle and get strong. So here's another question he has, is um, he's not getting sore with the 60 curls anymore and feels like his biceps aren't being affected. So he wants to know if he should rev up the weights or do something else. All right, so first off, he's doing three things, bicep curls, push push-ups and sit-ups. It seems like, no offense, a beach workout. Right? If you want to look good in a bikini or, you know, I guess in well, most men's cases, you know, a swimsuit, um, that's pretty much, you know, what you would do to some degree. But, you know, if you want to seriously put on some weights, put on some mass and compete in MMA, you got to change things up big time here. First of all, 25 pound bicep curls, 15 reps, that's not going to do anything for you if you're doing it over and over and over again. Progressive overload is one of the key components of improving your fitness. So if you're doing 25 reps, no wonder your biceps aren't feeling anything anymore. They've hit a plateau. You need to go to 30 pounds, right? You need to go to 30 pounds, drop the reps down to maybe 10 reps, crank out three or four sets with that. You can build up to 15 reps if your focus is on building bigger muscles. Initially, you want to build on some size, that's fine. The focus will be on uh, maybe repetition range, 10 to 15 repetitions, limiting the rest between sets to maybe 30 to 45 seconds and really getting a pump in those muscles, okay? So you wanna increase the weights so you're challenging within that repetition range so by the last rep, it's like a, you know, a real challenge. It shouldn't be you know, 15, no problem. So you need to change things up. You need to change the type of exercises you're doing. Instead, if you're doing a standing bicep curl, you may wanna do pull-ups. You may wanna do incline bicep curls. You may wanna do preacher curls. You wanna, you wanna target the muscle fibers from different points of view. However, if you're training for MMA, there's really no reason you should be doing bicep curls. You should be doing pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, things that are more specific, getting more full body and bigger muscles uh, involved in each exercise. Push-ups are great, you can keep cranking them out. Don't just limit yourself at 60 push-ups. Add one more push-up every single workout, right? So over the course of a week, you just added seven push-ups or five push-ups or however many times a week you're working out to your routine, okay? So one week you're at 60, and 65, 70, 75, you keep building like that, and that's how you get stronger, and that's how you progress, okay? Sit-ups, don't even waste your time with those. You wanna focus on more stable uh, or stability-based exercises, planking, side planking, and all sorts of variations of those exercises that are gonna strengthen your core without damaging your spine. Uh, stability ball rollouts are great as well, but basically you need to change up your routine. There's no, obviously there's no focus on the lower body here, and if you wanna fight, and you have a very weak base, you're not going to go very far. You need, to, you need to strengthen your base, strengthen your legs, squats, step, squats, step ups, lunges, big movements that are going to get you stronger. Okay. So the other thing you want to consider is looking at the demands of your sport. Look, just search for some MMA workout type videos. You're going to see uh, these guys are training very differently than what you're doing. Okay. You need to increase the intensity, really challenge your body to a level that you might be experiencing in competition and do things differently than what you're doing right now. Bicep curls have no transfer other than making your biceps look good to fighting or building strength. Okay, it's really important to understand that. I know you're young and that's, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you've asked the question so that I can kind of clarify some of that for you. Uh, should you be drinking protein shakes like muscle fuel? No, uh, I, don't, I don't believe you need to at all. There's so much garbage in those. Uh, they'll probably do more damage to your body than good. Plus they're full of dairy, which I'm not a huge fan of. You're better off just taking some fruit with you to your workouts. As soon as you're done your workout, pop some fruit in, bananas, apples, oranges, whatever. Make a smoothie afterwards when you get home. Have a more substantial meal within two hours, okay? 
So you want to get a good amount of a good amount of calories, but make sure they're based on whole foods, not packaged, processed, pre-made smoothies and drinks from you know supplement store. Um, so hopefully that's helped you out. And uh, again, with your workout routine, the, the most important thing is look at the, demand, the, the demands of your sport and try to mimic that in your training. Okay. So you may even want to do some kettlebell stuff. You may want to do some underground training with uh, tire flips or all sorts of stuff. I'm not too sure what you have access to, but you need to change up the routine. You need to keep it fresh. You can't be doing the same stuff over and over and over again. Uh, if you fall into the same boat as this young gentleman, then I highly recommend you check out um, our Fit or You Fitness program. The website's right here, fitteryoufitness.com, where you're going to get the workouts that will work for you in pretty much any area of life and help you get stronger, fitter, um, in a much more efficient time. You'll have me on your headphones, you'll have me taking you through these workout videos, and uh, just check it out, it's awesome. And you can try it out for free for 30 days. Um, so anyways, in the meantime, thanks for watching, thanks for the question, and I'll see you in the next episode.